Towards a New Socialism Section Information and Property It is clear that a precondition for effective centralized planning would be a national telecommunications network able to support the transmission of digital information. Most developed capitalist countries already have this. The networks in erstwhile socialist countries are some way behind. But just having the communications networks is not enough. Commercial secrecy has influenced the way data communication systems have developed, and it would be quite impossible to gather the information required for production planning in a present-day capitalist country. The details of production techniques are available only to the managements of private firms. Although the telecommunications agencies in capitalist countries have laid the cable networks that would be needed for planning, and although the necessary production data are already held in the file stores of company computers, these computers are not set up to make the information accessible to anyone outside the company. A major concern in Western countries is what is called data protection, or computer security. Computer firms devote millions of pounds to researching and perfecting mechanisms for restricting access to computerized information. Data on a computer can be electronically labeled in such a way that only certain authorized people in the company hierarchy can get to access it. Users of the computer can be assigned different privileges, which regulate their access permissions to computer files. This cult of secrecy is so ingrained and habitual that it is never questioned in the computer profession. Indeed, one of the textbook examples in database design is to set up a system that will allow managers to find out the salaries of employees, but pro prohibit employees from finding out what their managers earn. All this effort is necessary because information is treated as private property. It is a strange sort of property in that it can be stolen and remain where it is intact at the same time. Indeed, it could be argued that information is not by nature suited to be property, since it is so easily copied and is so difficult to protect. Nonetheless, the computer industry has grown up around the notion of protecting and hiding information. To establish the free and open flow of information demanded by a rational planning system will require not only the legal abolition of commercial confidentiality, but also the redesign of most of the installed computer software currently in use. End of section.